Today I'm with Miggy and Carla. Miggy, how old are you? 24 years old. Carla? I'm 18. So, how, Miggy and Carla, how long have you guys been homeless in the streets of Phoenix? Um, I've been homeless off and on for like six, six years. Okay. So, since you were in your teens? Yeah. Like, oh, well, like eight years actually. Yeah, it's like been like eight years. What caused that, Miggy, back then? Was it family situation or mm. what caused that back then? Kind of like family situation. Um, I mean, well, ki kind of my fault too. Like, I would say, like, well, when I was like underage, I mean, it was kind of my fault too because I, ha I had a place to go out. Like, I could have gone to my dad and stuff. But I decided to like go out, go out and like just choose drug life, you know. And my mom, she was homeless too, but you know, my mom like she 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 does good too, you know. But like I don't know, like it's just a bunch of troublemakers all around, and like I don't know it just it, it would go bad, and then that's how my mom ended up homeless, and then. I I just decided to choose drugs and then I ended up going homeless too and then like, I would kick it with my friends too like that's that's one of the main reasons why I would go out too like I would want to go and show my friends and smoke with my friends but I mean like I do come out here and I like I like I do like 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 do things around you know like, like I pick up parking lots um, I really love to study, so like, like I really study a lot in my third eye, and like, I mean, it's 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 a beautiful thing, cause like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm like, hey, well, like, this and this is this, and that and that is that. And I'm like, oh, dang, I just learned something new, cause like, I'm just like thinking and thinking, and then I'm like, dang, that's cool, I just learned something again, and I'm not even in school, but like, uh, it's just awesome, you know, cause I get to keep on studying just by thinking you know, I'm like dang you know like and but yeah like 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 I've been off and on in the streets for like eight years and it does suck though like you know being homeless like like just you know you don't get like you don't get to shower a lot because like like you can't just go up to a water faucet and just like shower right there but like because Especially like when you're young, like like you don't like we don't know like 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 when we're young. I would rather say like youngins. It, it's more harder for for youngins to like 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 know what type of like water temperature or 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 what type of weather it would be okay to like shower in, because then you could get really really sick. I mean, I've gotten really really sick out here. I've walked so much where like my legs, I wake up in the night crying and screaming. I'm like, ah, ah. And my, my legs are cramping up and and I'm like crying, I'm crying. I cried to my lady like two times. I cried to my lady two times. I wake up and they were just cramping up bad. And it, it's just, it, it's better to like, like, you know, like to study and to work hard, you know, like don't push yourself too much, you know, but like, like, get yourself a, a comfortable job that that you know that you love and you'll you'll be like 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 okay you know like you get home and you're like yes you know like i'm gonna eat a bag of chips you know if you're the, like the type of person that likes to be lazy and you like to, to take a nap then you know that's cool too you know like like and if you push yourself a little bit and that's why you take a nap then that's that's all right but never push yourself too hard because it it, it it brings like 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 you could say boredom in, in a way like tiresome like a tiresome boredom of life and you just you just don't want that to happen so you should you should always keep on pushing and pushing like to to not work yourself out you know and that okay. that's homeless you know like but I mean there is like like the thinking that was cool for me but it's not cool out here. Yeah, the homeless part, that's not cool. Okay. Carla, uh, how long have you been out here in the streets? Like a year already. A year? No. 
So a year ago, what caused you to become homeless? What, what happened? My mom got deported. So like, she kind of left me here alone because I don't want to go. And I chose to stay in the streets. The drug life too. So a year ago, it was just you and your mom, and she got deported. You stayed alone, and so you ended up having to go to the streets. Yeah. You guys both mentioned. Uh, drugs uh, something that's very popular right now 90 percent of the people that i talk to they're doing blues right counterfeit fentanyl pills is that something that you guys are partaking as well uh i mean i do i do blues but like i, I don't i don't like to do them like like that like that i like keeping it like at a, a level like like yeah I, i'm a, i'm addicted but me like i'm teaching myself to to like keep it to like a blue like day you know like that's what i want to get to that way i could still like participate in my in family participations and like like it's just, like talk with my with my family and not joke down you know like like just like you know like 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 because if you do too much blues and you're, you're gonna you're just gonna be out for a long time because your body's still processing like like processing the the the, the drug in your body and to like 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 be like like you know like the way the body works like by by sweating it out through your pores and all that or when you need to go to the restroom to go to go number one you know like stuff like that and and it, it, you, you'll still be slumped and they won't let you be part of like like family participations uh, that's why I'm like trying to like like just trying to go to one blue but i don't i mean i am a deep blues and blues i, I like them <laughs> but it's not like it's not okay to like too much blues like you should always think like family you know because i mean it's humans that make the family so so family should be one person to another you know so that that you should always want to participate in in like people conversations and all that you know so yeah carla speaking of family have you spoke to your mom or any other family uh do they know that you're out here yeah, yeah i spoke to my mom through facebook you you talk to your mom through facebook yeah and what is she telling you what what's is she going to be back anytime soon uh, she wants me to get sober and to go to mexico with her do you have any plans of getting sober soon? Mm. I'm also thinking about it. You're thinking about getting sober? It's kind of hard though. Why is it hard? Is it because the addiction and uh, the withdrawals, they're, they're painful? The withdrawals. The withdrawals are painful? For any other young person out there, uh, the youngest person I've seen is 13. Uh, they were smoking blues in front of me. Um, I can't imagine somebody that age doing that, you know, uh, but obviously it happens. Uh, a couple different people throughout the valley have told me that the youngest they've seen is 11. There's an 11-year-old boy out there. If two different people from two different parts of the valley have told me that there's an 11 boy, then that's probably true, right? Because I've seen a 13-year-old. So with so many young people doing these pills, what advice do you guys have for other young people that are thinking about trying it? Or if they get offered these pills at school, after school, uh, at a party, knowing what you guys know now about the dangers, the, ad the addictive nature of these pills, how addicting they are and how hard it is to get off of them and how they just take control of your life, what advice would you have for those young people? If you're going to be doing drugs, you know, like, make sure you prescribe and ask a doctor, you know, and make sure they're, they're like, the advertisement for them is, is a, a healthy and, and natural choice. Because, I mean, drugs are, are bad, you know. It's, it, drugs, drugs are heavy. Absolutely. Uh, Miggy, where did you go to high school? I went to like three, three, four different high schools. My last high school that I, that I attended was in boot camp. <laughs> Got it. Carla, where'd you go to school? 
Hmm. Maya High School. Maya High School. Carla, if your friends or family, your mom sees this video, what 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 message do you have for her? I love her a lot. You miss her? Mm -hmm. Do you think you'll see her soon? I don't know. Do you yeah. hope to see her soon? Yeah. Um. I want nothing more than for you folks to experience life. You guys are both really young and you guys aren't giving yourself an opportunity to see the beauty in life, you know, because you guys are stuck in like a cycle every day, the same thing, right? Your belongings are right behind you. Is that everything you own? Is that everything you own behind the, the little? Mm, the, no, we got some more stuff. It's just that, um, I don't know, like, like, we had I don't. Stuff. I don't, I don't like my lady like carrying anything. So it, this one, this one paisa, like this one paisa Mexican man, he was like, hey, you got any stroller? I was like, yeah. And he's like, I need to just wash it up. I was like, cool, if anything, I can use it to give it to my brother for his baby, you know? I was gonna wash it up and stuff, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, you know, his, his, his lady is like, more like, 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 She, 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 she just, she, she's like the type of person that likes buying her own things and stuff, you know, like, which is it's something that a lot of people should respect, you know, I mean, I, I know I respect that, that's, that's pretty cool, you know, like, because, like I said, you know, like, like, just how drugs are, are, are like that, you know, there, there's, there's some evil and unnatural people out here sometimes, you know, yep. it's just, you know, sometimes you gotta be cautious. And because of that, you guys have to be cautious with these pills because some of them are, are, are um, could be fatal. Right. I've interviewed people. Uh, I've been doing this since November of 2020. And I know of at least six people that I've talked to. They're no longer on this earth. They're, they're deceased. You know, and that's scary. Like, doesn't that scare you that potentially the next pill you smoke could be your last? That's yeah. scary. That's heavy, right? That's like... Yeah. You know, so please give yourself an opportunity. Uh, I'm gonna give you my card with my number for you guys to call me if you guys need a ride to a treatment center or uh, a shelter, somebody to talk to, some advice. I could be your role model, father figure, um, just somebody to talk to because I don't think you guys have had much of that, okay? Um, nobody's really guided you, uh, nobody's advised you, gave you support educated you and so you guys are over here on the street trying to figure it out figure it out together okay so uh i want you to know and remember that you matter people are gonna pray for you when they watch this video i'm gonna pray for you tonight uh you're worthy of a long fruitful life uh it's just you're stuck right now okay this isn't the way you, you have to live for the rest of your life it's just a small it's one page in a, in a big book okay so uh, I'm going to say thank you very much, Miggy, for talking to me, Carla, for talking to me, sh uh, sharing uh, your story, having the courage to share your story, because I, as I told you earlier, the, the uh, purpose of my channel is prevention through awareness by you guys having the courage to share your story. Somebody out there, a young person that watches this might decide, you know what? Carla's my age. I don't want to lose everything. So. I'm not gonna try drugs to begin with, okay? So maybe somebody, maybe you guys didn't get that message when you guys were younger, you know, a year ago for for Carla, uh, and when you were what, 16, 17, uh, Miggy, right? Yeah. And so um, again, thank you very much. You guys uh, demonstrated courage and I appreciate that. I'm also gonna hand you some, some uh, donated socks. You guys love socks, right? Everybody always lo loves socks right here. Some uh, toiletry bags donated by one of my subscribers, a friend of mine, her name is Quinn. Uh, another little uh, donated bag of goodies. Uh, I'm also gonna get you some lunch. Lunch has been donated by my subscribers. Um, and uh, cause you guys are hungry, you guys haven't ate, you guys are thirsty, it's hot out here, it's 100 and some degrees. You guys are out here walking. So uh, please stay safe. And uh, maybe we'll in the future soon we'll do an update and hopefully you guys are doing better, okay? Thank you guys. Thank you.